it's 7 in the morning, 7.48 in the morning, about to be 8 o'clock, but we're getting it done early because the guy or the, where I'm taking it is a new shop and he told me that he had a bunch of vehicles like in list for the day, but I called him up and he told me, hey, if you want, bring your truck early, we'll get it done for you. So he hooked it up, we're gonna go right now and we'll see you guys in a bit. I've been gone for about a month, I would I would say, but guys, I went on vacation for a while, and then I got back. I didn't want to come back because I, I knew I had been gone for a while. I didn't want to come back with just a regular video, so I waited to get the, the title's gonna tell you guys everything. Um, let me take off these glasses real quick. Uh, the title's gonna let y'all let y'all know everything, but I got it done like maybe a week and a half after I got back because I couldn't find the right guy to put it on. And everybody wanted to charge me an arm and a leg and I wasn't gonna pay so much to get it installed not that I wasn't gonna I knew that it was gonna be an expensive uh, install because of labors and parts and whatever but I didn't end up going with the original shop I usually always get my stuff put on with just because it was a little bit more expensive I got a better deal with a family friend that owns a mechanic shop so I went with him he got it installed for me it looks badass guys I'm gonna tell you right now it's a rough country four inch lift kit uh, the reason why Rough Country Lock, you all might say, why didn't you get like a BDS or a Pro Comp uh, lift or something like that. One, because I wasn't going to pay that much money for the basic 4 inch lift. If I was going any higher, obviously I would just because of safety and stuff like that. Just because I wouldn't want my truck to be so high and on some janky suspension. But Rough Country isn't bad. Rough Country isn't bad at all. But the thing is... I want to customize my entire suspension components, my sway bars, my shocks, everything that... What the fuck is that? So yeah guys, that's another reason why I didn't want to go with such an expensive ass uh, thing because if I went with something so expensive... ...25 or 35, dude that was a cop that just passed by and I don't have my seatbelt on but... Hey, fuck, that's why I just started talking like random shit. Um, what was I saying? I fucking completely lost my train of thought. That cop really threw me off. guys what's going on it's a new video today um today is july the i don't even know today's july something all right so it's july 10th i think or july 11th somewhere around there uh i've been away for about a month i know it's been a while but i'm back no more excuses i'm back i already got a video planned for next week and i got this video obviously going up too um i'm going to go record a video for you guys going to go record a new update that I've done to the truck and also give a little preview of all the recent mods that I've done for all the new subscribers because I was getting some information and some comments from some people from from some supporters that you guys haven't seen all the mods that I have you guys don't know what everything that's on this truck so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and make that video for you guys um, right now I'm driving that's why I'm not focusing 100% on the camera I'm gonna make that video for you guys I'm gonna show you guys a new update obviously you guys already saw know what it is based off of the title it's a lift kit but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of the differences maybe the height differences and also just give you some aesthetic views of it just give you some shots of the truck to see how it looks because really that's all I'm gonna be showing you guys is how the truck looks with a new lift kit uh, I already got a new video coming out for you guys next week like I said I'm gonna be working on that uh, here tomorrow gonna get this video uh, edited for you guys gonna let you guys know on Instagram also for you guys that follow me on Instagram if you don't I'm gonna put the my ad handle right but we finally got the the lift kit installed everything's good we're on the truck right now the truck is a lot not a lot taller but it is noticeably taller because I do have a little bit of struggle now to get in the truck and I'm 6'4 so I really didn't have any struggle at all before getting on the truck now I have to grab onto the handle and pull myself up a bit it's a lot taller but since I'm 6'4 it's really not that much of a big like deal to me I'm sure to someone who's a lot shorter than me it would be much increased a lot of people that get in the passenger seat of my truck tell me that the truck is really tall and too tall and stuff like that so 
obviously if I guess if you're not 6'4 it's gonna be a little bit of an issue for you but I love the truck I love the way it sits I love the way it looks I want to get that extra power from the supercharger and the custom tune and the PCM so I'm gonna be working on the performance aspect of this now I hope you guys enjoy and so you guys can stay in tune for that and let's get on with the rest of the video guys peace out guys what's going on uh, I told you I was gonna show you guys what I did to the truck and the new things I added to the truck uh, today's video is gonna be more of like a kind of like a mod update type thing because recently I had some people asking me where what have I been adding to the truck and what have I added to the truck and I did go ahead and get a lift kit installed on my truck but yeah guys the back is finally lifted now that's one thing that was really bothering me with the leveling kit is that I didn't like the way it kind of sagged in the back a lot of you guys may not have noticed, but I definitely noticed living with a truck, the sag, re the back really sagged a lot and I didn't like that. As you can see now, it really sits way higher and leveled with the front. The front looks also has the bigger gap. Guys, keep in mind, I do have 33s on a 20 inch wheel. So when these tires wear out, I'm probably gonna opt up to the 35s just because they do fit and the truck will look a lot bigger. All right guys, so really other than that, um, I basically just lifted the truck from last time to this time. I really haven't changed much. The one thing that I did end up having to take off guys and that also got kind of messed up but it's it's not to worry. I talked to you guys about it in the last clip was the tire caps, the wheel caps of my wheels. They like power washed them or something and like the paint came off and I got into contact with the dealership that I bought my wheels from. The guy told me he'd take care of it, that he would get me the replacements ASAP. So this week I should be expecting them guys. But if you guys look, this right here, the Moto Metal where it says Moto Metal is supposed to be all black with just the Moto Metal in Chrome. Only this one, this was the only one that didn't get messed up. It was the back left. See how it's all black and then the Moto Metal is in Chrome. And then these are all the rest. If you guys can see it, I'm gonna show them to y'all. That's how that one got. And that's how that one got. And I'm also gonna go, I'm also gonna go ahead and go over pretty much everything that I've already done to the truck because I've seen new supporters and new subscribers that wanna see it. Um, even though they don't wanna go back to the old videos, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you here. The first thing I'm gonna get into from the back here is I've always obviously uh, blacked out the tail lights. They're, they are kind of dirty right now in dirt, but you can still see that they're blacked out. The top brake light up there is also blacked out. The tailpipes or the exhaust pipes, I got the full exhaust 3 inch piping from the front cats all the way back. Uh, it's straight pipe, no muffler, no resonators. And then I also got the 5 inch black tips that you guys can see here. These are some custom 5 inch black tips if you guys can see. And the custom exhaust that goes all the way back to the front cats. So 
looking at it from here from the back that's basically all i've done to the truck i do want to get custom plates so that will be changing too guys i've also got the five percent tint on the back window there on the back glass obviously guys are my wheels and tires these are something that you guys probably have already seen uh, my tires are some open country rts 33s and then my wheels are 20 by 10s moto metal i don't know the exact model number guys so i you guys are gonna have to search that one up yourself coming to the front guys i've also eliminated the ram 1500 badging from the door to just leave the hemi to let it look a lot cleaner another thing guys here in the back is i've also done the bed liner the rhino bed lining myself not myself but i took it aftermarket to go get it done obviously the new suspension new suspension components for the four inch lift and guys really what i've done to my truck for the most part in like modifications the majority of the modifications have been on like the aesthetics and i'm very happy to tell you guys is that i'm pretty much almost done with the aesthetics the lift kit was one of the last things that cost a lot of money that i was trying to get done i already got it done so now what's left to come is all the performance mod guys i do plan on getting the tuner i plan on getting maybe a supercharger in the future like i like i said before I want to supercharge my Hemi and the tuner for sure I'm going to get with the PCM because obviously I need to get the new PCM. Um, still looking at different options you guys on what I'm going to do exactly with my truck and the performance aspect of it. But for the aesthetics of it guys I'm pretty much almost basically done. There's just a, maybe a few more things that I would like to do to the truck. But other than that my aesthetics on the truck are pretty much basically like 95% done I would say. I like the way my truck is sitting now and obviously uh, I wouldn't want it to change. I wouldn't lower it. I wouldn't lift it anymore. So like I said, the aesthetics part is pretty much done. The performance is what I'm going to focus on next. Um, some other mods that I got are obviously my k and intake. I need to clean it really bad. Basically the only two mods in this engine bay are the billet technology catch cam which catches the crude oil from getting into your, your engine and then basically also the k and intake that I got here which is the 83 series if you guys are wondering. Uh, it's not tuned uh, and the top speed, it cuts off like around 105. That's when the engine just cuts off without being tuned. So for the engine, like I said, that's pretty much all I've done. From here in the front, you guys can see I also got rid of the grill that comes with the truck. I ended up putting a rough country grill, which also goes hand in hand with the, with the lift kit. And the reason why I picked this grill was because I like the billet style because it really matches my wheels with like that type of like little silver billet style. So that's one reason why I really like the grill. Another reason was because I like the clean look of it just being mesh all around. That way when an inner cooler or whatever goes in the front, you're going to be able to see it. It looks super dope. So that's my motivation behind the grill, guys. I really love the way the grill looks, honestly. All right, guys, it's freaking hot. I'm about to get going up to the top because it's really hot. It's like 106 degrees and I'm making this video for you guys. But I don't blame anybody but myself because I need to make this video for you guys. I've been gone way too long. Another thing, guys, maybe you guys can't tell too much, but I had to take off my my 40%, not my 40%, but my limo tint on my front windows because, guys, I got stopped about four times within a week literally not even joking four times within a week twice of those i got citations the other twice the other two times i got uh just warnings all right if you guys don't believe me at all like if you guys really don't believe me here it is this is one of the warnings that i got literally just yesterday texas department of public safety this is from the state troopers guys i was getting so much slack so much slack from these guys these state troopers here in my hometown guys like it was actually to the point where I was like, dude, these guys are targeting me. You guys, I'm gonna input a clip right now of a cop that had stopped me the day before. And then, well, a state trooper that had stopped me the day before. And then I saw him in town the next day and I waved at him because he gave me a ticket, but I got the ticket taken care of the day of. So I really didn't have any malice or hate for this guy. So I saw the guy in town driving around and I waved at him, just like any casual thing. I just picked up my fingers, waved at him, whatever. Um, the guy literally does a U-turn, pulls me over, and stops me and tells me he's gonna teach me some manners. So 
guys go ahead and listen to this video tell me what you guys think about it tell me you guys what you guys would have done in this situation and yeah i'm gonna play it for you guys hope you guys not enjoy it but hopefully you guys react to it well guys Stopping me again, man. Yeah, I saw you waving at me. Get out the truck. Go to the back. Get out the truck. Yeah, go to the back. We got. We got to talk about your manners. I and stuff. Come on, let's go back there. I didn't. I waved at you. Not not I didn't flick you off or yeah. anything. Let's go back here. Come on, let's talk about Anyways, guys, that's the video that I want to show you guys. That's crazy that the cop can just come up to me and pull me out of my truck. I know it's not legal at all. I talked to my uncle, who's a corporal in the state troopers here locally, and he told me that it was completely wrong, that he was going to end up talking to that guy's sergeant. So hopefully, that guy won't be bothering me anymore. But shit, that right there was fucked up. I know it was, and that's why I tried to record it. I was going to record it on this GoPro, but when I tried to turn it on, when he stopped me, my GoPro was completely dead. For some reason, my phone stopped recording halfway through, so I just cut out the part of the video that didn't say anything or show anything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Another thing, guys, that I kind of did here real quick, and it was for like cheap as hell. I bought some LED strips, and I just stuck them to the back of the here, the cargo box here in the back of my truck. Uh, they switch to all types of different colors, guys. I'll give you some video on that right now. For the basis of this video, I just basically wanted to tell you guys if I think lifting your truck or lifting your truck, even if it's a single cab, two wheel drive, doesn't matter. Lifting your truck is all up to personal opinion. I know I see a lot of people out there that think uh, lifting your truck is stupid. A lot of people think, why are you lifting a sports truck? And honestly, guys, it's all to personal opinion, guys. Anybody can do whatever they want to a truck. I could have lowered my truck dropped it with some a three four drop i could have done that too but i don't want to lift i didn't want to lower my truck i lifted it i really do like the way single cabs look especially lifted like this i mean you don't see them often you're the one paying for it you're the one that's putting the money into your truck you're the one driving it you're the one that's having to deal with it every day so guys i do think that lifting your truck is worth it in my opinion like i said because i love lifted trucks i come from a family of having nothing but lifted trucks big trucks so lowering the truck to me wasn't really in the option when i bought this truck i always had plans to lift it and i hope you guys like it i really hope you guys like it because obviously it's a part of the channel you guys follow the channel because of the truck and because of all the things that i do to it the crazy things that i've added to it already let me know what you guys think about the truck what you guys think about the lift kit and we'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys